Hey everybody and welcome back to another day with tea. Today we have some exciting news in the Queen's Cove. Something's in the water. A few days ago, Joey called me out to the gallery because he said he had something to show me. Here's what it was. So I was out here doing a quick update and uh, I was shocked by something I seen. I was filming all my tanks, just grabbing some footage and then I came across one of them. And you're not going to believe it, and neither is everybody else. And that's why I went and got you in the house, because I thought you might be interested in it. So I'm filming this tank. You can film it. And I'm walking along, and I'm filming it. Tell me if you see anything. And I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm filming, and I'm filming. Anything? Uh, I'm not good at this game. Observe the fish. I'll give you a clue. You've already passed it. Observe the fish. Is any anything standing out to you? Are they breeding? Are they? Oh my God! Do they make eggs? That's the mommy, and that's the daddy. Huh? David Tasselhoff. <laughs> David Tasselhoff. What's her name? Um, she doesn't have a name. Mommy. <laughs> Guess you're gonna have little baby Geo. Oh, and then, I already knew about this one, but look. And then the uh, female Severum's laying eggs in there too. More eggs for Tyrese? Yeah, well, I can't <laughs> take that log out. That's a tree. True. Gorgeous though, eh? Mm hmm. Yeah, anyways, uh, oh, and look who came to see you. <laughs> Said he wants something to eat. I'm the sea urchin. Alright, go about your bed. I said three minutes is all you could have over Oh, look. That event's coming up on the 17th of August in Long yeah. Island, New uh -huh. York. Put your pay per view in the description. Do you want me to get you in your little dress? Oh, my hair's all wet and I look a little bare. And it's not What do you think? He came to get me out of the shower right after to tell me this news. Well, it's exciting news. It is exciting news. They look like little silica beads. I was doing a water change today on this tank, which water changes the entire system through the sump here and everything. And I also did one on this goldfish tank. And while I was doing it, I noticed that since I added this, I don't even think I showed adding this. I just, it appeared one day. But I added this Anubius that I had in the holding tank for quite some time into the hole that's in this log that's been in this tank since Joey escaped it and it's been in the gallery. And I decided to move the log down while I was doing the water change because I felt like the plants just looked a little bit better over there compared to the ones over here. And then I thought this space looked a little bit empty. So I added these rocks from outside that I found. And I knew that the Acara were showing off some breeding behavior. So once I added the rocks, they started to get to work pretty much immediately. And if you look closely, you'll see that they laid several eggs on the rock. So, looks like we're gonna have some little baby electric blue acara. Noticed this breeding type of behavior out of my acara for a while now. I just never added any rocks back in since I removed the ones that were previous in there for the goldfish tank. But today I decided to go find some more because I was pretty suspicious that they were going to breed. I'm pretty sure this is the mama and this is the daddy. And he is the one, the big one that was moved temporarily to here because he was chasing everyone behind the background. But now we know why he was doing that because I decided to add him back to see if they would breed. And that's what we ended up with. And she's making sure nobody comes out from behind the background. Look, he's trying to peek out and she's like, no! So, she's going to protect her little babies. So that's exciting. Our first Queen's Cove babies. Hopefully they'll grow out. Maybe I'll be able to get this 
out of here and this stuff set back up to maybe set some of the fry up in a tank on their own. We'll see. Anyways, I'm pretty excited about my first breeding to happen in the Queen's Cove and I'm excited to see if they'll grow up. I might have to put them in another tank. I just have Luke on his walk by the way and I'm thinking of everything I want to say and not forget to tell you guys. But we're being barked up a little bit. Hopefully these babies will be able to grow up mine as well as Joey's. The only unfortunate part about these babies and their timing is that we're going to be going away soon for the boxing matches in New York. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're not yet already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and all that good stuff. Leave me a comment and let me know if you think the babies will make it. That's so many. You. Yep. They're really good parents. You can see the, the mothers in front and the fathers in the back. The father on his tail fin, you can see that he has those uh, trailers kind of coming off the bottom, whereas the female doesn't really. But you don't really see that until they get to four or five inches, so it's difficult to sex them. Hmm. Can what I have I, some? Yeah. What I'm thinking about doing, though, is scooping out half and artificially raising them myself, and then leaving the rest in there and seeing what happens. Survival of the fittest. Or, who does a better job? Hmm. The real parents or the foster parents? Originally the babies were over here, and now they're all over here in this back right corner. Oh, the little fry. So cute. So tiny. Check out these two ropes just hanging out together in their tube. They need names. Look, it's back. All right, so I have my old sump to use and then I already have the shrimp tank that's already set up. And then I'm gonna bring these three tanks back inside to use. And we're gonna try to do it with no heater and no filter on the next five for now. And then I have the lids there too. So I can give you almost all of this moss because it's just growing in clumps and detaching. Okay. But one of the things you could do is take Malaysian bogwood like I'm using. Yeah. One, one piece, put a bunch of uh, moss on it and then it just goes nuts like this in the tank at some point. Mm -hmm. um, so you can have almost all of the moss here. This is just way too much. Okay. And then a lot of this stuff here. You can Franklin. even have you can even have the uh, Anubias. But these plant these tanks are super nasty, but I'm just letting them be, be that way. Okay. Um, Oops. Okay, I need to take these downstairs. And dry the outside of them off. little itty bitty baby shrimplets in here and a bunch of adults are out but I need to drain this tank in order to be able to move it back to over there which kind of sucks all right so this is how it looks when it's drained kind of sad looking kind of funny looking kind of looks like a weeping willow though anyways I'll get it moved and then fill it back up all right got it moved here and I'm gonna start filling it now one more to go So hopefully the plecos and coolie loaches won't come and eat these. They're guarding them pretty, pretty carefully. All right, I finally got the final tank in its spot here and I'm going to fill it up and then that'll be it for me for tonight. I just filled these all with water for now but I'm gonna be changing the water out. I just see there's like spider webs and stuff in them. I didn't wipe them out. 
So I'm just gonna do a water change on them before I end up adding the wood and stuff into it, the wood and the moss. And then I'm not sure when we'll make it to the store to get more shrimp, but once we do, you will be the first to see it. So it is the next morning and the moss in the shrimp tank has been trying to float since last night's giant water change in order to move the tank back over here, which kind of sucks because it looks crappy, but hopefully it'll sink and go back to looking as lovely as it did. Looks like there's still eggs. Let's turn the light on. There are. It's a good job guarding these eggs all night long. Now the dad won't let the mom near the eggs at all. The fries wiggling. The day she laid them was on Saturday and it is now Tuesday. And we have wiggly little eggs, little fry eggs. I scooped a bunch of gravel from here and sped it all over the rocks and all over the wood. And then they like dug up these plants in the back and they are hanging out around there. So I feel like maybe they hid them in this area. They moved their fry so I can see them really good. They moved their fry to where I can see them very well. Looks like there's still lots. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.